I'm rubbing in my argan oils. And now I'm trying to break up my chunky afro with a little bit of water, just waking it up some. And then here's my leave-in spritz, and that's my aloe vera gel and um, leave-in conditioner mix. Then I'm topping it off with Cali's Creations um, Shea Butter Mix. I can't remember the actual name of it, but it is Shea Butter, and it smells gorgeous. It's delicious. <laughs> well, it's not delicious. It smells delicious. Anyway, so I just did a little lock method for you there. Liquid oil cream. In this case, my cream and oil was all in one. And this is a Tangle Teaser-esque type brush. I just want to neaten up those edges where I could feel hair like tangled up, especially in the back. I don't know about you, but my back, the back of my hair just gets tangled the most. And look at that, you see like, and as I'm breaking my hair up and I'm actually doing a little bit of um, removing a shed hairs. Every once in a while, I'll take the tangle style brush to the ends when I'm wearing my um, Afro puff and my Afro just to make sure those knots are not just hanging on. And then that's the Ampro gel. I really like this stuff, guys. I mean, I got it for wash and go and never did use it for that. And then I'm using a regular bristle brush just to lay the edges. You know the routine, you know the drill. It's been so long since I've rocked my Afro and Afro puffs that many people forget that this is the natural state of my hair, not the longer stretched version. Like people don't understand that my hair can Afro. They think it hangs down to my shoulders, which uh, is not the case. And then I just use the tie and that's like from an old pair of leggings or something, something very firm. That's what I like to use on mine. I didn't use the puff cuff this time because um, it was actually looser than I wanted. I wanted a very taut and sleek um, puff. And as you can see, I'm going in and I'm judging those edges and the baby hairs. And I'm using this, I forget what you call these, but you guys know what it is. They used to use these to lay in relaxers. And I bought this because one of my I Am Noir TV sisters, she laughs at us for using, yes, for using the toothbrush. But honey, toothbrush has been part of the beauty regimen for decades, child. I mean, I was using it in the 80s, and I think many of us were. I don't know if, if they were using it any time before that, but the 80s, yes. I mean, men even use it on their mustaches. So, of course, I put my scarf on to solidify the edges. I put on my clothes, earrings and stuff, and um, my edges set a little bit. I usually 10, 15 minutes, whatever, you know. And I have a nice, chunky, knotty Afro puff. This is a very forgiving style puff because it, you know, if it gets messed up, you can just finger, you know, finger style. You don't have to worry about everything being completely even. And, you know, sometimes I have issues with committing. So I like the idea of, of having something that's forgiving. Okay, and I'm just zhuzhing it up, and I got to get them eyebrows and that oil together, honey. Argan oil I use. All that patting I did and everything, and for what? Get in the car, and my afro puff gets misshapen. And I feel so ridiculous fixing on it in public because I just don't like the idea of public primping. Like you do it, you know, girls do it sometimes, guys do it, but I don't want to just be always primping. That's just not my stilo. But, you know, hey, that's why I kept it chunky and nutty and, you know, chunky and tight. So that, um... I had a little bit of room for air, but look at that. Mm -mm, that ain't right. That's my high look. That's my puff, all right. 
I don't want to walk in this street into all the people. She on her phone. Dry on. She is she even looking at the road? Ain't nothing over here for you, lady. <laughs> what are you doing? Jeez, <laughs> on the on the phone. I'm on my way to the craft store. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> 